Like I have no eyebrows basically. <laughs> You just have to mix it around. Hey besties! Um, yes, I came back from Mexico, Jamaica, and Cuba. We went all around and I'm super tan now. Um, no, I just drenched myself in some self-tanner and um, been in the sun for like two days straight. I hate this part, guys. Like. Do you guys struggle with that? Like, I just hate that. Like, what is that? I know it's my armpit, but like, I just hate that. Like, it's like my third boob, fourth boob. Like, <laughs> anyways, I have an event to go to tomorrow. So your girl had to bleach her hair um, yesterday or the day before. And then I did a good aphogy treatment on my hair. So like my hair is like nice and crispy not the um you know bad crispy well i mean there's probably a little bit of crispy in there <laughs> i'm toning my hair with willa t18 and that is because i'm wearing my extensions tomorrow i have to, I'm going to my brother's birthday party and um my extensions are t18 so i want to match and not have silver hair and then you know you guys know what I mean? I just picked up the Eero, Eero Silver. That's like a big tongue twister, Eero, Eero. Eero, 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 Eero. So put your handy dandy gloves on. Oh, oh yeah, don't breathe. <laughs> I was going to bleach my hair on camera, but I feel like it's so repetitive now with me bleaching my hair. Like I know like a lot of people enjoy like seeing me bleach my hair. If I am gonna do a bleaching, it's probably going to be like a bleach bath because everyone wants to see a bleach bath from me again. Everyone loves my bleach baths. I can't blame you, I love them too. Chi also has an amazing developer. Try it out. It's like really thick. I'll show you. Okay. Now we don't measure, but basically what you do with Willa toners is you fill this up two times and you can use the bottle. So it's really straightforward and simple. But yeah, see how thick it is? It's like a good conditioner thickness. You know what I mean? I know I'm going to get questions as well about um, my lipstick. I can't remember the name of it, but it's all of my lipsticks are either NYX called Berlin. Um, that's the color of the brown that I usually use. The blushes I use are all from Dollar Tree by Ioni. It's called Peach. This lipstick is from Dollar Tree. All my lipsticks are mainly from Dollar Tree, to be honest, because I find that if I splurge on lipsticks, like my daughter's either going to break them or something's gonna to happen to them, like me throwing them or something. I know my hair looks really short right now, because it is. Well, the last time you guys seen it, that's the length. But because I have curly hair, my hair is gonna look like this. And I've had it in a bun for like two days because we did the effigy treatment. And this is literally the perfect color. You guys see my roots? This is the perfect color for T18 if you are wondering well, Becca, what kind of yellow do I need to get good results with T18? Well, it's this color. It's like a banana and make sure your roots are not orange. You want a very pale yellow. I do try different hair dyes for you guys, even though sometimes I'll be like, oh my God, I, I flipping hate this color. Like different Wella toners because people want to see different Wella toners. I still have to try I think it's T11, everyone wants to see. So that one I will be giving a try. But yeah, I look super dark, okay? And if you're looking for like a really good self tanner and it's mousse, it's not a cream. Mousse is the way to go for self tanners, I find. And like the little mitt. Um, Amazon, I always buy my self tanners from Amazon, but St. Moraz, um, is the best self tanner for me and I'm like super white. Okay, so you guys can see like I mean I look a little bit orange because I have like another layer on me right now and I have to wash it off But there's not much of like an update with me. I'm just like regular Joe Becca You know, I've been to value village a couple times spending 
way too much money to the point where the cashier is like, oh, you're doing your spring shopping? And I'm like, yeah, yeah spring shopping. This is like my everyday week. <laughs> like me and my mom are like those people in Value Village that have like two carts and we're throwing everything in the cart. Like I got like two kids, right? So sometimes like there's a lot of kid stuff in there or, if you guys ever heard of like once upon a child guys, if you have kids, don't spend so much money on clothes. Go to once upon a child. They have such great stuff there. And if you donate stuff there from like your kids outgrowing clothes, they actually give you money back. They'll give you cash back. So like strollers, um, like bassinets, they will take it all and they'll give you cash back. Just do my roots first. And I do it's like section by section while well, I try. I like to use a mirror, but I, you know, I'm too lazy to bring everything down to my kitchen because the lighting is better down here. But my Instagram is just diehardbarbie with two eyes. Follow me on there because your girl's always posting on there. Oh my God, have you guys heard the new Post Malone song? It's called Chemicals. Oh my God, I'm like, in my head right now, it's like playing and like, yeah, jamming out in my head. Once we have the roots all saturated, I think, I don't know. I'm hoping that it's all nice and toned. We just hope, okay? Cause I can't see back there. So I'm hoping that I got like every section. Do my roots first, wait like 15 minutes. Let that like incubate on my head. Um, like go outside, tan a bit more, and then come back inside, and then we put the rest on to our ends so that our hair doesn't turn purple. Because the problem area is our roots, right? They're like the most, they take the longest to basically get white. So that's why I do my roots first. So um, I am going to wait 15 minutes and then come back after being in the sun and we will do the rest of our hair together. So I'm gonna do my eyebrows. Um, I forgot that I did it off camera. I was like, oh my God, I didn't film it. Your eyebrows always need a good tone anyways. So it's it doesn't matter. It was only on for like a minute or two. So it, it did a lot of damage um, with the whiteness of my eyebrows. Anyways, people get so angry that <clears throat> I tone my eyebrows, like, that's like the biggest thing. Like I get people saying, oh my gosh, that's like an early 2000s thing to have matching hair with your matching eyebrows. Okay, well like I was born 1994, so like it makes sense. <laughs> I'm just gonna try and blend it the best I can. I don't really wanna open up another bottle. I might have to though, oh no, it's getting. You just have to mix it around because I have so much on my roots. Okay, so I'm gonna let this sit for like another 10 minutes, okay, with it on the rest of my hair. So I did 15 on my roots and then 10 on the rest of my hair. Um, it's 30 minutes all together, usually that you're supposed to do, um, but I'm just doing it till 25. I should take my eyebrows off though because they, will be white yeah they're white <laughs> where did they go like i have no eyebrows basically <laughs> but if i put like an eyebrow pencil on top of this guys it looks fabulous i just like this okay leave me alone <laughs> okay i wish i got this on camera but <clears throat> i almost got it in my eye <laughs> It's not a laughing matter, but um, that's like a nervous laugh. <laughs> that There it is again. <laughs> okay, I'm done. But um, be very careful if you decide you wanted to do your... <clears throat> yeah, I don't recommend anyone ever toning their eyebrows, like ever. Um, I just like it. And um, yes, I know my knuckles are orange. Okay, Karen? and my elbows we know but i'm gonna be wearing yeah so um once it hits like 10 minutes i'm gonna wash this out but so far i have no 
eyebrows. And then after I do this video, I'm going to go sit outside with a nice cold rock star and soak up some sun. We are back with the final results. I, you know, didn't want to fully dry my hair because it just takes so long and then to like style it. And I want to go sit outside before the sun starts going down and get a little bit of a tan going on. Okay, everything is even with my roots in the end. There is no yellow anywhere. Um, it's all even. It just has to dry and I'll style it. But I can't wait to style it with my extensions. I just wanna say that the purple conditioner treatment that I use by uh, Shimmer Lights, that made my hair really dry, I have to say. Like it dried my hair out so bad, I could feel it and I was like, okay, I'm just gonna do a bleaching and then do an apogee treatment just to get that protein back in my hair. I did recently cut my hair even more in my last toning job with Willa. Um, and this is all I'm going. It's cute for the summer, I feel. It keeps your hair out of your face, especially when you have little ones. I have like a 10 month old baby and he's always grabbing my hair. So this kind of like gets it out of my face and Oh, we also took my nails off um, because I have OCD and I hate when they're like a little bit grown out and then I chew them all off. <laughs> you guys see how I mean with my eyebrows? So like I bleach them and then I put color on top of them. So, cause like my natural hair color is like a dirty blonde, like really kind of like a darker dirty blonde but I like my eyebrows to be like this. And all my eyebrow pencils, I get all from Dollar Tree. They have like, for like a dollar fifty or dollar twenty five, and there's like multiple shades. They're really good, they're the stick ones. That's all I use on my eyebrows, and bada boom, bada bing. I always get questions about how to use this. I have so many videos on my YouTube channel regarding the Apogee Protein Step and a bunch of their other products, but this is my favorite go-to that is fixed my hair. It mended my breakage, and trust me, I had so much breakage from postpartum and bleaching with 30 Developer. It brought my hair back to life. It rebuilds your hair. It's ideal for processed or natural hair. Basically, anyone can use this. I feel like it's excellent for people that dye their hair and put color in their hair. It just brings your hair back to life. This is like my holy grail. I need this in my life every single month. I just... I love it, Afuji. I'm obsessed with T18, I always will. It always does me good. And the Eero Eero Silver is fantastic as well if you like the silver grayish tinge in your hair. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and please subscribe and give this video a like if you like it, no big deal. You don't have to like it. You can just move on along and just watch my video and that's the last you'll see of me. I hope to see you guys in my next freaking video. Bye guys.